Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. It is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day and I have a huge grocery haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Also, tomorrow is the Q&A with Amy and I for our cosmetic surgery. So subscribe, the, turn your bell on so you don't miss it. That video is coming out tomorrow. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Let's head on into my kitchen for this week's huge grocery haul. So here is my huge grocery haul for the week. I shopped at Fry's, which is my local Kroger store. What you don't see because it's in the garage is four 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy and three eight packs of Gatorade zero for Troy. Let's jump into everything else I picked up for the week. Thing is some holy guacamole. I need guacamole for a recipe and I find that if I make it with fresh avocados it just goes bad too quickly. So I didn't know that I would use this whole container and I think this will definitely stay a little bit fresher than homemade. I did go to the meat section to see if there was anything reduced and they really didn't have anything but I saw these. These are peach ale habanero brats. My only hope is these aren't too spicy. Tori and I are planning on doing a Blackstone Grill barbecue day to barbecue vegetables and proteins for the week. When you see this video, I'm actually on my way to San Diego. So I'll be gone Saturday, Sunday, and I won't come back until Monday. That way Troy has meats and things on hand. So I thought that we could throw these on the grill and try them out. I also picked up this a toffee apple pie. It was reduced to $6.70. That way he has that for while I'm gone. And then I also got these. These are one of my favorite things. These little mini scones. These are the blueberry. These are so good. They end up being about $1.20 with the 50% off. These are so good and they're just the perfect little sweet treat. I like to have one with breakfast with some protein and it, again it just makes you feel like you're in this bakery coffee shop having an amazing breakfast. These are really really good. And then I bought some more of these little Chobani flip dupes, a healthier version. These were $1.25 a piece, which is a great deal. I love these, Troy loves these, so I picked up five. This is the Key Lime Pie Light and Fit. This has 10 grams of protein. And then I also got the Strawberry Cheesecake Light and Fit. And then I haven't tried the Oikos, and these ones have 11 grams of protein. So this one is the S'mores. Doesn't that sound amazing? And then we have Salted Caramel and Cocoa Almond Chocolate. So I thought that these would be just really easy little yogurts to have on hand if I don't want to make a yogurt bowl. And sometimes I have these for dessert because they do have those yummy, crunchy toppings. And then I got some La Banderita Carb Counter Tortillas. This is for a recipe. And then these are new to me. These may be new in general. I actually saw these on Instagram. And so I picked up one of all of the flavors. These were only a dollar a piece. These are the Smart Bowls. So these are from Starkist. So there's tuna in here. Really good amount of so great for protein. This is the quinoa and beans with tuna Latin citrus. 160 calories, 10 grams of protein. And I thought how convenient for on the go or just a fast, easy lunch. You could pair this with some crackers and it would be the perfect lunch. And then I also got the red beans with tuna spicy pepper. Again, I'm hoping this isn't too spicy. This one is 170 calories, 11 grams of protein. And then I did the pasta and beans zesty lemon. This sounds really good. 180 calories, 12 grams of protein. And then lastly, this one also sounds good. I love barley. Barley and beans tomato basil, 160 calories 10 grams of protein so 10 to 12 grams of protein in these it's got a carb already for you I just think this is going to be a really good lunch and I've heard really good things about them so maybe we'll try these in a what I eat in a day I'll definitely keep you guys posted I did get some non-food things so we were out of fabric softener I already need to go back to Costco I'm gonna have to do a Costco run when I get back because we're out of some of our staple things already but I did go ahead and grab the Downy Bliss this was $7.99 it's one of their weekly digital deals so that's a really good deal I think this is normally $13 and then I did a restock on my wax melts because these were only $1.99 and so I did get the orange burst cinnamon roll cookie oh that smells so good cedarwood and sea salt also love 
apple cinnamon, nutmeg and cinnamon, lime and coconut, that is summer in a wax melt, and then orange and vanilla. We do change out our wax melts and our little wax burner once a week, so I go through them pretty quickly, and I couldn't pass them up for $1.99. And I also couldn't pass up these. These are from the brand Candlelight. These candles were $3.99. That's even cheaper than Walmart. So I got a pumpkin nutmeg pie, a apple cinnamon crisp, and a tropical fruit melody. This smells so good, that is summer. So I thought we could go with some of these warmer scents until we really hit summer. But again, $3.99 a piece, excellent deal. A bit of cheese, we were almost out of string cheese. Again, another reason I need to make a Costco run. These were on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed the Kraft string, string cheese. I do not like light string cheese. So I just buy full fat, I prefer it, so I got that. And then I actually had a coupon for the private selection, thick cut shredded cheese. You guys know I love the thick cut cheese. So I grabbed the aged cheddar blend, New York cheddar, Vermont cheddar, Wisconsin cheddar, and then we were out of sliced cheese. We went through that whole pack of Tillamook from Costco. Again, need to make a Costco run. So I did grab some Colby slices and some extra sharp cheddar. That way Troy can have meat, cheese, and crackers when I'm gone. And I did grab him another summer sausage. He really likes having these for those meat, cheese, and crackers. So I grabbed that. And then he did ask for some deli lunch meat for sandwiches. So I have a pack of honey ham and then some roast beef. I also picked up the typical two gallons of skim milk for him. And then I got two of the Good Culture Cottage Cheese just in case I don't shop at Fry's or Kroger when I get back. I didn't want to run out of cottage cheese because I love cottage cheese. So I did pick up two of these. They end up being like $1.50 cheaper at Kroger than at Sprout. Now these were a buy one, get one free and I love Noni's Biscotti. They used to sell them at Costco. I don't know if they still sell them, but I grabbed them because they were $4.29 a box and they were BOGO. So it ended up being like $2.20 a box. So this is the salted caramel and look, they're only 90 calories. They're 17 carbs and two grams of protein. I love to dip this in milk, dip this in coffee. They're individually wrapped and there's eight biscotti per box. And then I had to get this one too because I love lemon anything. And again, kind of a bright, fun summer flavor. So this is the limon and this is 110 calories. Again, 18 grams of carbs and two grams of protein. You know how much I love the Mars Zetti Simply Dressings. These have just much better ingredients and they taste like full fat dressing. I have the ranch in my fridge, but I picked up the Caesar because I love a good Caesar salad kit, but I figured I could save points, calories, and lots of fat if I added this instead of the dressing that comes in the kit or maybe half and half, half this, half the dressing. And this was on sale with a $1.25 coupon, so it ended up being $3. Also needed salsa for a recipe, so I picked up mild traditional salsa. And then if you watch my meal prep, I was out of rice wine vinegar, so I just got it. While I was there, that way next time I go to make a recipe, I don't have to worry about not having it. And I got this one because it's sugar-free. That'll save a bunch of calories. It ends up being zero zero calories and it tastes exactly the same as regular rice wine vinegar. These are my favorite almonds in the world. So I'm going to take these with me on my trip. This is the blue diamond bold wasabi and soy sauce. And then I did grab another can of no sugar added mandarin oranges for my avocado toast. I'm obsessed with this on my avocado toast. I did share this in Wednesday's what I eat in a day, that recipe. So I'll link that video if you missed it. Troy also asked for some more of his Kashi toasted berry crisp cereal. So I picked up another box and then these are one of my favorite crackers and I do like a good meat and cheese and cracker. I more do cheese and crackers. And these are from Back to Nature, plant-based snacks, crispy wheat. These are just like wheat thins, but I actually think they're a lot better. So I picked up a box of those. So I liked this potato salad a lot. And when I was getting the lunch meat over in the deli section, I saw that this is reduced to 383. This is the country potato salad with egg. Again, that'll be easy for him to have while I'm on my trip. And then I actually had a coupon for a free cream cheese from Philadelphia. So I picked up a one third less fat. I use cream cheese a lot, and you can also throw this in the freezer if you're not going to use it up before the expiration date. Some little hamburger buns for the burgers. Again, for grilling on our Blackstone, we're gonna grill a lot of burgers, so I grabbed a pack of buns. And then I got this for Troy. He loves Chex Mix, and I thought this would be easy because they're 10 single serve bags rather than him having to buy a big bag. I thought this would be a little bit easier. He can also take this on the go. And then I got these. I couldn't pass them up. These are so good. I used to eat these all the time when I strictly followed Weight Watchers that actually the zero sugar or low sugar caramel ones, but these are the regular. These were on clearance for $3.15 and it's a five pack, which is a killer deal. That makes them 
50 cents a piece. So that's amazing. So I grabbed those again, quick, easy snack. The apples are so tart and delicious. And then you get this little cup of caramel all for a hundred calories. I also asked for a veggie tray for while I'm gone. So I grabbed him that the rest is veggies and produce. So I needed some tomatoes for a recipe and then he wanted to do BLT. So I grabbed tomatoes for that. I also picked up some frozen peas and carrots for a recipe. You already know, our mini cucumbers. I've been craving cucumbers with hummus and I have some hummus in my fridge so I picked up some mini cucumbers. Red bell peppers, I need these for a recipe and then I picked up an extra one to throw on the grill. Green onions for a recipe and then I always add green onions to salad. And then I'm going to grill up some zucchini and some yellow squash. That's one of my favorite things on the grill, along with some onions. These are the Peruvian gold sweet onions. I wanted red onion and they had zero red onions at Fry. So I just got this bag, it was $3.50 for a three pound bag and I love a good sweet onion. I got some celery for me because I've been on a big celery and peanut butter kick. It's been one of my favorite snacks. And then I grabbed some green leaf lettuce for BLTs and for burgers. And then lastly, a couple peaches. They just sounded really good. And they were on sale for $1.99 a pound. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. As a reminder, there will not be a meal prep on Monday because I actually don't fly back until Monday. I did mention this in Friday's video as well, but I wanted to give you a quick reminder. But let me show you what's on my menu for dinners for the week. So here's what's on my menu for the week. I'm going to be making a copycat Taco Bell Mexican pizza. I'm so excited for this. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then I'm doing chicken fried rice for dinner. And then we are going to have another salad night. We love a good salad night. And of course, there is no meal prep for the week. Thank you for joining me for this week's huge haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up. Lots of new food finds, lots of fun things to test out. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss tomorrow's Q&A and all of my future videos. Don't forget to stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group is free and we would love to have you join us. It's all down below for you. Happy Saturday, friends. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.